This by his voice should be a Montague. Fetch me my rapier, boy. What? Dares the slave come hither, covered with an antic face, to fleer and scorn at our solemnity? <laughs> now, by the stock in honor of my king, to strike him dead, I hold it not a sin. Why, how now, kinsman? Wherefore storm you so? Uncle, tis a Montague, our foe, a villain that has come hither in spite of to scorn our solemnity this night. Young Romeo, is it? Tis he, that villain Romeo. Content thee, gentle cuz, let him alone. He bears him like a portly gentleman. And to say truth, Verona brags of him to be a virtuous and well-governed youth. I would not for the wealth in all the town here in my house do him any disparagement. Therefore, have patience. Take no note of him. It is my will, the which, if thou wilt respect, show a fair presence and put off these frowns and ill beseeming semblance for a feast. It fits when such a villain is a guest. I'll not endure him. He shall be endured. What, Goodman boy? I say he shall. Go to. Am I the master here, or you? Go to. You'll not endure him. God shall mend my soul. You'll make a mutiny among my guests. You'll set cock a hoop. You'll be the man. Why, uncle, tis a shame. Go to, go to. You are a saucy boy. Is it so indeed? This trick may chance to scathe you, I know what. You must contrary me. Mary, tis time. <laughs> well said, my hands. You are a princox. Go, be quiet or more light and more light. I'll make you quiet. What, Cheerily, my hands. <laughs>